the stories of the Glenrye Valley Heritage Railway. Over rolling mountains and through thick green forests lies a railway. This railway runs from Glenrye Valley alongside a tramway up to Bowenfels Junction, where two lovely branch lines break off. Further down the main line is a small town called Espank, which was still ever growing with the expansion of the line. The line then continues across a spanning bridge which is known as Eskbank Viaduct, as it crosses a large marshland. Following on from the marsh is Zigzag Valley. This section of the line runs deep into the cuttings of Zigzag Cliffs, which is home to a small narrow gauge railway. Once leaving the rocky plains, there is a small line leading this castle was home to once a mighty king who ruled the valleys and forests, but now a tourist attraction. Then through Dunster Station, with a branch to Dunster Colliery, which supplies resources to the railway in towns. Following further down the line is Mount Piping, a large station built originally for World War II to supply munitions from its munitions factory. Then Enlisco, the once known end of the line containing a large yard and many platforms with a branch running to Candos. This continuing down the main line is Warrington Yards, used to store large amounts of freight shipped in from countries far and wide. The line curves, staying double track, opens up to Glenberris, the connection to the main line with six different entrances and having regular trains from King's Cross, Paddington, Edinburgh and many more, with large, shed with large sheds and yards for shunting and a turntable for engines, a small goods shed and a work shed to service engines. Now, now these, <laughs> these are the stories of the Glenrye Valley Heritage Railway.